Hello everyone. Uh, another demonstration of a brand new 4.1 feature uh, we call Region of Interest Configuration or ROI Configuration. Um, this feature is only going to be available for Hanwha cameras at the 4.1 release uh, for NX Witness VMS, but later on uh, we're going to be introducing additional manufacturers with patches. Um, the usual suspects, the big manufacturers, um, are going to be first. Um, but if you have any questions about that, feel free to ask in our uh, community on our support.nevergoptics.com. Uh, quick note, wearing my hat backwards, need a haircut worse than I've ever needed a haircut in my life. Thank you, COVID-19. Uh, we're still locked in, in in Los Angeles and will be for a little while. Um, so that's why I'm wearing my hat. So apologies for that. Um, so let's get into it, right? Um, I've got a Hanwha PND A9081RV camera, right? Um, and it's got some cool features in it. Um, but as you can see right now, it just looks like a normal 3840 by 2160 camera that's streaming in at 10 to 15 frames a second and at 4 megabits per second and H.264. One note, this camera is located on the, on the other side of the country. So I'm actually recording it over the internet which is kind of blowing my mind, which is awesome. But, and I'm also configuring it in real time over the internet, right? So when I'm making these configuration changes, it is not in my local system. This camera is on the other side of the US. So, uh, right click on the camera, go to the camera settings dialog, right? You're probably gonna end up on the general tab, right? Uh, when you first go into your camera settings. Click over to the plugins tab. Um, you'll see this Hanwha Analytics plugin. Um, this is gonna be built, built in. Um, to get the analytics to work, the first thing you need to do is to um, go in and make sure that your analytics is enabled. I'm going to do object detection on this camera because um, it has the capability. And I'm going to detect persons and faces. Uh, and then I click this. It's going to be toggled off when you first install the camera. You're going to toggle it on. Um, and then you're going to pick the objects you want to detect and then press apply. Um, and then I'm going to go configure the area that that's going to apply to, right? So when I go to the IVA areas, um, and I can, you can do lines as well for like directional motion, but we're going to do area for this demonstration. So when I go to the IVA areas, then I can see here, I can, I can name this area, um, and then I can click on this and get a pop-out window to actually configure the area. So you can see right now it's set up pink. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to set it up new. So click on the area that I want to um, analyze. These are all the faces that are applicable, right? And then press OK, press apply. Now you'll note nothing's happened on that camera, right, in the background. I'm gonna keep the camera settings dialog on because it's easier to show you this. Nothing's happened on the camera. So how do you see the objects that are being detected? Well, two ways, right, um, real easy. One is just like with other uh, video analytics uh, plugins that we have, like Vision Labs face recognition or NeuroVision face recognition or Centurion Neuralytics or uh, the different LPR partners we have out there. Um, go in here, click on objects, and then you're automatically going to, it's automatically going to switch into kind of object detection mode, right? So you can see two things here. One is um, the objects that are being detected by the camera. Now this is static. It's set up at somebody's home, obviously. Um, and it's kind of a skewed view of it, so it's only picking up a few things. Um, but, so face tracking, the objects are coming in here, right? Person tracking, you can see what's being detected. The other thing you notice is the bounding box that I drew earlier is here. Now, it's not very obvious, right? Because it kind of matches, I'm guessing this is a little girl's bedroom. Um, it's pink, so it kind of matches. So I actually want to change that color. I'm going to change it to green, right? And as soon as I press apply, it's going to apply the live thing. Okay, so that's one way is by clicking on the objects tab to see that information. Now, if I click off, you see it goes away. So objects off, right? Uh, the other way to do it is right click on the camera, go to objects, frames, and info, and press show always. And then it's always going to show you everything that it's detecting and the area. Now, on this particular um, analytic, you also have the option um, to show on the camera that zone, right? So I'm going to uncheck that and press OK and now you can see it's only showing me what's being detected it's no longer showing me the region of interest right I actually kinda like the region of interest because I know where it's being applied to so I'm gonna leave it on press OK 
So that's pretty much it. That's that's ROI configuration um, in the camera settings dialog. Um, now this same um, this same feature is now available in the metadata SDK as well. So the analytics, the video analytics partners that we have that are that have done integration with us, um, this is now available for them so that they can allow you to configure their analytic um, in our interface as well on the cameras. Um, as far as I know, none of our metadata partners have done this yet because it is a brand new feature, um, one that we implemented um, for the Hanwha cameras, and so all the UI elements and everything are new in 4.1, and, and not a lot of our development partners have developed that full feature yet. Um, but for you developers out there um, who are working with the metadata SDK, this is also available for you to enhance your integrations. So. Um, ROI configuration in uh, camera settings available in 4.1 uh, release coming out early summer for Hanwha cameras and then following that it's going to be available for all of our usual suspect major manufacturers. So if you got any questions or feedback, uh, one thing that we've started doing with this version with this beta uh, is in our community at support.nevergraphics.com um, if you go there and click on community uh, then there's a beta feedback section. So we encourage all of you guys who are trying to beta, come here and put your um, 4.1 beta feedback here. Um, feedback could be bugs that you found, um, weird little artifacting stuff that you're seeing, um, installation problems. Like we want you guys to test the, 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 the product out as much as possible and let us know ahead of time uh, whatever you're seeing in the world because we have a limited environment so we can test in um, and you guys are have many different environments you can test in. So we'd love to hear your feedback on the beta. This is where it goes, um, and our guys will respond to you um, quickly. So ROI, uh, region of interest configuration in the camera settings dialog, 4.1. This is it. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.